Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Horde Every Night Ramblin' Man. It is the morning of day 6. Last night I went ahead and spawned in a light mod and put it on our helmet. That thing does not change the stats of anything. All it does is give us a light to use. This way at night or during a horde we can all see what the hell is going on. I also went ahead and marked the church on the map. Named it Day 5 so that is done and out of the way. And I also have a few skill points to spend. I'm going to put one right into Lucky Looter. That's a little past due. I'm going to put one into Fortitude and the last one into Machine Gunner. Okay, now also in the previous video, a few people have played this seed before and they let me know that if I go over to our current trader and head up this road to the northeast, there's a second trader just up here. So we're going to head there this morning because the traders don't restock until tomorrow and uh, we need ammo for tonight. So we're going to head up that road. We got a duffel bag right here. Ooh, another jar of honey. Take that. Um, so yeah, we're going to head up that road and see that second trader, get it marked on the map, and hopefully buy some ammo there. So uh, we've got something to defend ourselves tonight. And then we will go ahead and uh, find a place to stay. We also need to grab iron so I can make more ammo for junkie. All right, that's good for now. Let's drink one of these Mega Crushes and we'll start heading towards the Trader. And I know Junkie is going to play a major role in this series moving forward, especially if we even want to come close to beating our goal of 21 days. So the next time I level up, I am going to start putting points into Turret Syndrome so we can start leveling up Junkie. And hopefully, we can get to the point where we can use two Junk Turrets at the same time. Well, let's stop here again real quick since we're riding past the place. Someone said, I don't remember... I swear there was a comment, though, in the previous video that I missed a gun bag here somewhere. Back here? I... If I remember correctly... Oh, I'll take the glue. Not the paper. Um, I thought they said it was under the stairs. What stairs? Maybe I have to dig down? What's here? Oh, that's a... Uh, this is not a gun bag. This is a uh, suitcase. I'll check it out. Nothing. Um, under the stairs. Maybe I have to dig down. Oh, a couple more Mega Crushes. I'll take those. I don't know. Maybe I have to dig down, but I don't have time to be digging for something that I don't even know if it's there or not. But I appreciate the tip. However, let's move on. Got a little survivalist camp right here. And a uh, water source. So I'm going to take the opportunity here to fill up these glass jars. I'm not going to mess around with this camp right now. Maybe another day. And here we are, not too far up the road at all. I really appreciate this tip. This is going to come in handy for sure. A second trader real close by. So thank you to all that have played this seed before. Just an FYI, if you don't know, the seed is 80085. Damn it. It's a destroyed workbench. I knew there was a workbench in here. Just wasn't sure if it was working or not. Um, I don't think there's anything else to search in here, but there is some other stuff we can search around the area before we go inside and see the trader. Let's go ahead and turn this glue into duct tape now. I need duct tape so I can make some repair kits, and I also want to try and make one more cargo storage pocket mod. Oh, hey, it's Trader Jen. Hello, Traveler. What's up, What's Jen? I haven't you? seen you since the apocalypse. Uh, wait, can I search your safes back there? No? I can't reach him. Alright. Let's see what you got. Oh, she's got a storage pocket mod. It's only a single, but I'm gonna buy it. And we can put that on our boots. Then we'll only need to open up two more slots. I'm buying all of her 762. And I'm gonna buy all of these iron arrows as well. The a should we buy the AP 9mm? I don't know. That's a lot of coin and we don't have much left. I will buy 22 shotgun rounds though, I think. These steel arrows are pretty expensive. You know, we got the... Um, these are really expensive. We have the double barrel shotgun still. Yeah, we can probably buy... We can buy 50 rounds of, of the of the 9mm AP, or we can buy 22 rounds of the shotgun and still have some coin left over. 
I think that's probably the better decision. Because that shotgun, it, it does decent work. And hopefully we can find more rounds for it. I don't see anything else. Let's buy the shotgun rounds. That will leave us with some coin left over. And I think we're done here. Thanks for the business. You got it, Jen. We're open from dawn to dusk. All right, let's, uh, she's still talking. We don't have clocks. She's obsessed with me, honestly. I don't blame her, but I'm a rambling man. I can't be having a relationship. I'm constantly on the move. There you go. That storage pocket mod leaves us with two slots left to open in our backpack. And like I was just saying, if we can create that cargo storage pocket mod, we can put that on our jacket. That will open up the last two slots and we'll have a full backpack and we'll never be encumbered again. Oh, these sons of bitches. Here, I got something for you. Yeah, suck it. Where's your friend? Ah, fuck you, bird. Guess we'll stop and grab this trash. And then before we go find a place to call home tonight, I want to stop off at the uh, mixer POI and grab the concrete that we had going in there, see if we can get any more moving. And then uh, we'll continue on, just in case we need the concrete for fortifying tonight. Here we go. And not bad. We got 346 pieces in here. We'll get some more moving, but I'm going to grab this. And then we can go ahead and dump the cement, I guess. I'm not going to continue to hold on to this shit. We got to dump it as we don't need it. That's just the way it goes. I mean, I'm, I am going to hold on to the clay soil for now, though. Because I want to grab some more stone, and we'll make a little bit more cobblestone. Since we have 531 pieces, uh, we can make more of that, just in case we need that for fortifying tonight as well. So let's go get some more stone real quick so we can do that, and then we can dump the rest of the clay soil. Alright, this thing's out of life. I did make a repair kit. I want to try and make more if I can. Let's get... Um, 150 more pieces of cobblestone moving, get rid of the rest of the clay soil. That leaves us with a little bit of stone left over, too, that we can hold on to. And let's go find a place to call home. I will probably use the repair kit that I have for the pickaxe, get that back to full health. But I might also have to use it for one of our guns for tonight. So we'll see. If I can find more duct tape, we'll make more repair kits. What about this place? I've had numerous people want to see me hold down a water tower. But I don't know. I mean, what could we really do here? Knock down the ladder, put some spikes up, you know, around? That would be pretty simple, but then... I don't know, I would feel like such a sitting duck up there. Maybe. I'll put this in the maybe pile. Let's go look around a little more. Here we go. I think this will be good right here. I know we already held down a uh, mobile home, but I think our hordes are still small enough to where we can get away with this place. Uh, waking up zombies. I don't have my stone axe. It's still repairing because I'm crafting cobblestone. Slow down, buddy. Oh, shit. That didn't stop him. I do love spears, but sometimes they don't really slow the zombies down at all. Makes me think um, that... I should have just gone Pumble Pete and tried to go clubs. I've been using spears pretty much all of Alpha 18, and I've given up on the club. But I feel like uh, we should probably revert back to it and uh, go that route. I just can't help it, though. I love the spear. I love throwing it. I love the fact that I can stab them if I need to, but I, can all I also have a throwing weapon. We have plastic parts on us, so we might as well... Uh oh, shit, that's wood. Well, that's fucking steel. But why are the blocks under the windows wood? These blocks down here are iron. Um, yeah, that's steel. That's wood. That's wood. Shit. Um, all right, what if we dig this stuff up, get this out of the way here, and then we upgrade those wood blocks all the way to concrete. We could even go reinforced concrete by tonight. And we can also put blocks in the windows and upgrade those to reinforced concrete. 
And then if we put just a concrete block in the doorway, then they should come for the doorway. You know, because if I left these blocks wood, then they would see that as the weak point, and they, that's where they would go. That's where they would start attacking. But now that these are concrete, um, hopefully they go for the door. You know, that's the whole idea here, is that um, I, cl I, I put a frame in the doorway, upgrade it to concrete, put junkie down, and then wait for them. And then fight them off at the door as long as I can, and then we'll have a, um, I'll, I'll knock a hole in the roof and put a ladder so we have a way to escape to the rooftop if or when they break through the front. Alright, not too much loot in here, but we did find some ammo, so that's good. So basically the uh, plan is just going to put a frame in this doorway. I might put some bars up above as well. And then I want to put a frame down so I can put Junkie down, but there's not much room here, is there? We're going to have to knock all this shit out. Okay, now... Let me make another wood frame real quick. And I could put it right here and put Junkie on an angle. No. I want Junkie to shoot straight on. So I think right here will be fine. You know? And then I can stand right here and kind of move to the side to let Junkie do his, his thing. Let's upgrade this once. Make sure Junkie's going to fit right here. Uh, I think it's that block above. That's stopping it. Let's knock that out. Might as well knock the block on the side out, too. Alright, so that setup's done. Obviously, I'm not going to upgrade the block in the doorway until we're ready to fight the horde. Now, I need to find a spot to break open the ceiling. Probably right here, right? So we can quickly escape. And we'll go right up a ladder that I'll put up against this wall here. We just need to break through the ceiling. That is a thousand hit points of iron. I'm going to go ahead and repair our pickaxe and like I just like I said earlier we need to make more duct tape or find more duct tape so we can make more repair kits Ooh, the motorcycle handlebar schematic and a challenge you never know what you're gonna find in trash let's get it out of the way though I mean it'd be cool to have a motorcycle for the additional storage and it's a lot quicker than the bicycle but then we'd have to start worrying about uh, gasoline, which I guess we can get easily by taking cars apart. But since this series is pretty much going to take place all in this town, the bicycle is not bad. The only thing that's bad about it is the lack of storage. So, let's make a hatch. We're going to kind of do the same thing we were doing in the uh, greenhouse. Uh, if, if it comes to that. You know, if they break through, we'll come up this... Uh, ladder here. We can get up just like you saw without having, uh, without a ladder up at the top. The zombies can get up too, just as they did at the greenhouse, but it's a lot harder for them, and if we're up here shooting at them, I think we'll be alright. Alright, let's take the rest of the iron we have and turn that into junk turret ammo. And it's still pretty early on in the day, so I think we should go find somewhere to dry and loot. You know, if we can if we can find a spot and get uh, that good old sneaky loot where we break in and just grab the main loot, uh, kill some zombie soldiers. All right, I'm going to accept that challenge for now. Whether I do it or not, I don't know. It's pretty far away. But anyway, like, yeah, like I said, let's go do some looting. And then we'll make one last trip to the trader. Ooh, repair kits. Needed those. All right, I still need the duct tape, though. And leather and a sewing kit, or two sewing kits, and cloth so we can make one final cargo storage pocket mod. And we'll be looking real good. Oh shit, this is that house on the hill. That's in Navisgain. I don't think I've ever seen it in a random gen world before. That has a gigantic bunker underneath it. That's definitely not something we can tackle now, but that's cool to know that that's here in this town. 
We might do that at some point. This place, we should be able to do really quickly and easily. And I'll show you how to break in and get the main loot of this place. It's not much, but... Like I said, it'll be quick and easy. Relatively painless. And hopefully we can get some good shit. Take the radiator and the plastic parts. Anything that we can at least sell. You know? Not that we can buy more ammo. Ooh, there's some duct tape. Gonna need that. Let's check out the uh, garage here. But yeah, ammo and anything we can sell. Because, like I was just saying, uh, there's no more ammo we can buy from the traders. We've bought it all from them. But they restock tomorrow. So the more shit we can sell and the more coin we can gather today, that's just more ammo that we can buy tomorrow. Alright, so I believe we just go right in through this window here. There is a catwalk from the detached garage into one of the second story windows. Look at this. Shaka Messiah crate waiting for us. But this is a quicker, easier way to get in. Plus, like I said, the uh, main loot is right here in the kitchen. Okay, I'll take all that. I'm going to scrap the sledgehammer, though, for the iron so we can make even more junk turret ammo. Let's get this box out of our way. Nah, not taking the rotten flesh. I will take that cooking pot, though. Empty cans. Empty can. Not going to take that glass jar. Empty cans. Whole lot of fucking empty cans in here. I can't even scrap that one yet. I'll just uh, take it for now. Oops. Uh, let's close this door and this door. Not sure which way those zombies are coming in from. I want to grab this radiator, though. So we can sell that shit. Alright. They're beating on this door. What's up, bitches? Oh, shit. Out the window. Okay, that's all of them. For now, anyway. Never did loot this stuff out here. Nothing. Nothing. Alright. Uh, fuck it. Let's just get back in the house. Another empty can? Holy shit. Um, let me scrap those and the chair. Get rid of this paper. Okay, so here is basically the main loot of this place, which is not much. But I will take it. Ooh, some 9mm. That's nice. We can put our pistol to a little bit of work tonight. Let's read this challenge. Kill some animals. Let's take a look at that. Uh, by the farm. Okay, it wants us to kill a rabbit, a boar, a bear, a chicken, and a stag. Which is a buck. Um, it's not marked on the map. That's just something we would have to do as we're kind of out and about. Um, let's search the kitchen real quick. More empty cans. Coffee? I'll go ahead and drink that. Uh, what's down here? Nothing. Alright, let's go the other way then. We still have plenty of time to, uh, do a little bit more looting and, uh, then get to the trader. To sell some shit before Horde night. Because all we have to do to prepare for the Horde is put the frame down in the doorway, upgrade it, maybe put some bars above that frame, and then drop down Junkie and we're good to go. Alright, let's see what we got going on upstairs. Some bedrooms, I'm sure. Maybe a bathroom. Oh, here we go. Let's lead them down. Come on. Really? You guys are just gonna punch down then? Come on. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Alright then. Alright, let's just hit him. Oh, damn! Dude, that was some Matrix shit right there. Alright, you die. And you die. You're not dead. Now you are. Get my spear. Damn, there's so many fucking radiators in this house. Nothing behind there. Grab some leather. Oh, that gave us cloth, not leather. Whatever. We need six more pieces of leather, one more piece of duct tape, two sewing kits, and I don't know how many pieces of cloth, 20-something. And then we can finally make that 
pocket mod. The cloth is easy. We can get that from the cotton outside. Poncho. Nothing up there. Actually, let's take that poncho and scrap it. And the chair. Plenty of leather right there, so that's all the leather we need. Now, like I said, just some more cloth, one more piece of duct tape, and two sewing kits. I'll double check the trader when we go back there to sell him some shit. But I don't think he has any of that stuff. He might. I know I maybe sold him some of that shit when I felt like I didn't need it. So he might have he might have the sewing kits. I don't know about the duct tape, though. This POI right here has a detached garage also. Let's stop and check it out. I'm not going to push into the house here. But I will check out the garage. Toolbox. Nice. Can sell that stuff. Actually, I'll scrap the nails. You can sell the wire tool, though. You can sell those machine parts. Padded hood we can scrap. Uh, whatever. Alright, there's a crate up there. Let's go get that. Nice. Another repair kit and those rebar frames will come in handy. Not tonight, but maybe tomorrow night. Before we go to the trader, let me just stop here real quick and upgrade these concrete blocks one more time. Now, I hope I'm leaving myself enough time before the horde shows up, because wet concrete blocks have less hit points than dry concrete. But if it dries in time, then we'll have reinforced concrete and we'll be looking good. I just don't know if it's going to dry in time. I sure hope it will. Can we put this weighted head mod on the spear? I think Let's try that real sir. quick. Otherwise, I'll sell it. We can. All right. Cool. All right. The guy had sewing kits and duct tape. Let me grab my iron out of the bike. And I'm going to make a couple of repair kits. And then I'll have two pieces of duct tape left. And I also have the leather and the sewing kits that I need for the pocket mod. I just need more cloth, and we can pick that shit up in the form of cotton on the way back to our base. All right, here we go. Bam. Once that's done, we'll throw it on our jacket, and we'll have a full backpack. Let me grab the shotgun out of the bike, and we can go get set up. All right, I went to concrete because wet concrete has more hit points than cobblestone. That might have been a bad idea, though, because the concrete blocks on uh, by the windows that we filled in, those did not dry in time. So those are wet concrete, too. So that could cause a problem. Plus, I'm going to put bars in the windows here for a little bit of added protection. But they should see the bars and this block as a quicker way to break through than the wall, you know? So hopefully they still come to the uh, front door here. If anything goes sour, we can still always make it up to the roof. All right, here we go. Now, I'm not expecting any cops or radiateds to show up tonight. Cops would show up before radiateds did. But I don't think we'll see one tonight. Maybe tomorrow night. Son of a bitch. They're not coming to the door. They're beating on the fucking wall. Right here. Damn it. Um, yeah, it looks like they're all over here. I can't just sit here and repair that all night. What if I put wood bars in front of that block? You think that would deter them to come to the front door? Shit. I don't think it is. What if I put bars here, too? No? All right, well, as soon as they break that block open, might as well get some shots in on them. Here we go. This is not good. This is not going to be good at all. I don't know what the floor is made of, but I'm sure they're going to break through it pretty quickly. What block are they hitting now? They're hitting the, 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 uh, the bars right now. But once they break through the bars, they're going to start beating on the floor. This is not going to last very long. I'm making another frame because I'm going to try and drop it in this doorway. Oh, shit. They're through. Uh, get the frame out. Gr uh, grab Junkie. Put the frame here. And upgrade it. Oh, we're too late. 
Oh, shit. They're beating on the block above. We gotta go to the roof. Well, that just went to fucking shit in, like, 60 seconds. Um... Can I put Junkie right there? No. Shit, man. What if I drop him down right there? Oh, here comes Mo. Uh, I heard Junkie just go off once. Oh shit, close that hatch. Alright, it looks like... Oh, uh, there goes Junkie. But yeah, it looks like we're doing the fucking greenhouse all over again. With this fucking hatch and a ladder. Yeah, Junkie's doing some work. The only thing is I can't... Maybe I can, I don't know. I'll have to try, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to pick him up from up here. If I can, that'll be fantastic, but I don't think that's gonna be possible. Oh, shit. This is not gonna be good at all. This is a terrible setup. And you know what? Someone gave me advice in the, um, greenhouse video. What was that, episode four? And I'm just remembering it now, of course. And basically what they said is do this same exact setup right here, but instead of using a hatch, put bars right there. Because they can't get through the bars, you can shoot through them, and they'll still try and get up the ladder. And I totally forgot. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm just remembering that right now. But it would have been much better to have bars here instead of a hatch. Um, I just... I, I wasn't thinking. And uh, I didn't think we'd have to bail to the roof so quickly. Oh, there goes Junkie, at least. Still doing a little bit of work. The ladder's gone, so I don't think they're going to be trying to get up here again. Oh, shit. I guess I'm wrong. Can still manage to get up the ladder somehow, even though the piece in the middle is missing. Look at this. They must be jumping up on the kitchen counter and hitting the ceiling over here. Part of me thinks maybe we should open up one of those blocks and have another place to shoot down on them. But I don't know if that's a great idea. Junkie's still going off. A little at a time, he keeps shooting at them. Look at this guy right here. What if we make some frames and put one on the car and make like a little staircase to attract them to the front end of this place? I just need a way to get a shot at them. Here we go. Get the AK. There, perfect. Yes, look at this. All right. This is brilliant. This is going to work at least until we run out of ammo. But holy shit. All right, they're really crowding up now. Oh, I better pull that frame out. Because they can definitely get up here from jumping off of that frame onto this lip of the roof. So just need to be careful. Well, this is working. It's just costing a lot of ammo, and we're not able to utilize Junkie. You know, so that kind of sucks. We got a dog, so we got to be careful. Oh, they're starting to pile up. Let me grab that frame. Okay. Now I just got to wait for the dead bodies to despawn before I can put that frame back down. 31 rounds left in the AK. No more shotgun ammo. No more pistol ammo. This tactic is not going to work with the bow. So, we can do it once more, try and get that dog killed, and use the rest of our AK ammo, but at that point, this tactic, like I said, is not going to work with the bow. Here we go. Oh, Junkie's still going off down there. I'm surprised he's not out of ammo yet. Come on, where's that dog? Oh, shit. I was wondering if that car was going to blow up. The answer is yes, and there goes that tactic completely. Can't fucking do that anymore. Oh, shit. Who got up here? Hey. How did she get up here? She get up here through that hatch? No way, right? Let me knock this ladder out just in case. 
And I'll close the hatch, of course. Still hear that dog. So I don't know how the fuck that one got up. We got Big Mama right here. She's beating on the reinforced concrete. Oh, shit. Maybe that's how the other one got up. Chill, Big Mama. Um, We have one round left in this AK. I don't know how many are left down here, but... Probably a decent chunk. Whoa. Oh, shit. Get up. Oh, no. Uh, uh, grab Junkie. Oh, shit. This is not good. All right. Get out the door. Close that fucking door. Oh, my God. All well, the whole series just flashed before my eyes. Let's reload Junkie and put him down out here. I'm not done fighting. Oh, got a zombie coming right here. Oh, boy. Please fall. No? Not gonna fall? There we go. Oh, shit. Let's get the bike. Grab Junkie. Uh, here we go. Now, I'm not running away. I'm just trying to get my bearings. See how many zombies are left. Let's get down the road a little bit. Hop off. Put Junkie down. There we go. Get back on the bike. And then we'll just... Run these zombies back in front of Junkie. Just got to make sure we stay close enough to Junkie to where he keeps firing at them. What a mess. We'll just do figure eights right here. This is what it's fucking come to. Oh, shit. Just riding around in circles around Junkie. Letting him shoot at the remaining zombies. Because all I have is uh, arrows. And I'm not going to hop off and try and kill this many zombies with arrows. I mean, I can try to do a little bit more damage as Junkie does damage like this. This is working out. There's only like five of them left. Oh, get on the bike. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm such an idiot. No, oh, <laughs> I hopped on and hopped off. All right, I think we're okay. Let's go by Junkie. Let him shoot at these guys a little bit. Here we go. Get on. All right, what do we got, like three zombies left? What are you doing, Junkie? Shoot them. There we go. I'll just keep doing circles around Junkie like this. <laughs> I love the shit show that this has become. Okay, we're done here. What a fucking mess. Hey, I can't complain, though. Got full health, full stamina, we're alive. I only had to use one first aid kit. That worked out just fine, in my opinion. Let's, uh, I guess get back on the rooftop so we're safe for the rest of the night. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Man, I really am starting to enjoy this series because at first I was kind of loathing it because it's such a scramble and it's so chaotic, but that's really what I'm starting to enjoy about it. You know, you never know what's going to happen, how things are going to work out. Death seems like it's right around the corner all the time. And uh, when you can pull out of it like we did tonight, uh, it's great. That's what I love the most about this game. You know, so again, I'm really starting to enjoy this series. I hope we can make it to day 21, and I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. You know what? I'm going to cancel that uh, quest, the Kill Soldier Zombies quest. We're never going to get up there and do it let's just let's just cancel it i mean the reward is 500 xp and 350 coins fuck that i'll keep the buy the farm challenge on because you know if we happen to kill all those animals then cool if not no big deal so in the morning like i said we'll find a place to uh raid and loot and call home then we'll go to both traders sell what we can buy as much ammo as we can and hopefully survive night seven. Guys, thank you so much for watching and all the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Horde every night, Ramblin' Man, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.